Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Galerian's Ash. So in redoing that little bit since my last save in the death last episode, I realized that you can get something really handy for doing the combat section coming up. Uh, the enemies that spawn in after the cutscene with Ash at the computer terminal drop something pretty useful. Uh, so I decided to restart the recording uh, to to get this and to show it and get it efficiently. Uh, so you know how I shorted out in this room last time before I triggered that cutscene? Well, it turns out that that was... That was a real tactical disadvantage to have shorted out and then uh, popped the Delmator right before this fight started. Because remember, shorting out really augments your uh, your offensive abilities. And we can take advantage of that here. You, you're even invincible during that animation, which is cool. So as soon as that pops, they all go. Uh, unfortunately, a bunch of new ones spawn in, so you have to maintain this state for a little while. So this is just about balancing resources, which I think is really cool. My health is constantly ticking down, and I'm going to eventually need to pop a another Delmator and a recovery item. But that also saves me a lot of Nalcon, which would most likely be what I would be using to clear all this out otherwise. Uh, and it saves me probably a bunch of health in the long run anyway, because these spawn in, in swarms of three. I really like how this shorting out slash addiction point system works. Because uh, it's essentially a debuff, but it allows you to trade your health and Delmator to use offensively, which is really cool. It makes the resource management aspect of this survival horror game that much more layered. Actually reminds me a little bit of how uh, old school beat-em-ups always gave you a special attack that you could activate by taking a chunk out of your health bar. So it looks like we're gonna have to dig into that second healing item before this is done. This is nice because we're also increasing our maximum HP, AP, and a couple of our uh, PBECs. This game is dense with acronyms. <laughs> it's such a cool trade-off, though. I think that should have been the last one. Uh, maybe not. Unless I'm crazy and I... And they don't drop what I thought they dropped. Oh no, there is one more. Okay. So we're gonna have to do this with... Uh, let's just pump the Nalkin into him. That is some pretty good damage. That's the next thing that I want to upgrade. Like, this is way too handy of an ability... ...to keep at level 1 for much longer. That's not bad when all three uh, projectiles connect. Okay, cool. I didn't even know the first time in here that that skip dropped. I found that out redoing this section and then decided to re-record all of this to clear it out with the, uh, the short. So now we have the other issue to deal with of the key card. So I think either Saturn or, or Uranus came up. Or it was a combination of the two. But yeah, they give you an entire skip for that, which really just complicates my thoughts about avoiding fights in this to be resource efficient. Because that's a pretty substantial reward from a fight that I didn't expect to be that important. I see Saturn in... Uh, it could be either one. No, it can't be, because then what are, what are the leftover letters if you do Uranus? Is it Saturnus? 
Is that the Latin name for Saturn? Am I going to have to know the Latin name for each planet? That shouldn't be that hard, right? Oh, shit. Um, we have Jupiter that I saw, I think. That's the Earth door. Um, Saturn was just used, Saturnus. And then I'm pretty sure there was a Uranus one. Oh, there was Mars too, right? So Mars is just Mars. I think Jupiter is Jovis or Jovis. Uh, Uranus, I don't know. So hopefully I can just piece that together through context. Earth is Terra. But then again, didn't only a few of the doors have Latin written on them, or was it all of them? I never came up here. Oh my god. Well, uh, this will probably clarify a lot of this. Unless they're just not marked in Latin. In which case, I would still have problems. Yeah, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. I guess those are the ones that are going to be relevant. Since we're just omitting... Yeah, we're omitting a decent amount of the solar system here. Jupiter... Okay, so... Mars... TLUS? TELUS? Is that supposed to be Earth? I thought it was Terra. Okay. Wow, that's really effective against them. Makes sense. Like, I, I went back and thought about it, and they are kind of plant monsters. They are still frightening up close with that tail lash thing. Alright, I don't remember which door is which. I know the one inside is Earth. This one's Jupiter. I'm gonna mark these down. Um, hello? Oh, 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 okay. Calm down there, video game. Am I gonna need more? Whoa, okay. I just thought about this. I'm gonna need way more key cards. Unless I'm overwriting this one? Please, camera. I don't want to walk into the flames. Didn't do such a good job there! Okay, which one are you? The eastern door is... Mars. Is the color supposed to be important? Because I remember Earth being colored in blue, Mars red. Like, it makes sense, but I don't know. It seems like a superfluous extra detail to etch on the wall, unless it's supposed to be cluing me in about something that I'm not picking up on. Farts. Okay, so this has to be... Uh, Saturn. Nope. Wait, no. I went back to the Mars door. Oh, I immediately turned myself around. Okay, so Mars is on the eastern side. Uh, Jupiter and Earth, once I get those, I go back to the south side. And then hopefully... Uh, the Saturn door is in here. And remember there was something. There was one that was locked from the other side. Oh my god. Uh, where else can we go in here? Shit. Oh god. Yeah, I think this door was... No entry without protective clothing, locked from the other side. Okay. Oh cool, there is a planetarium door in here. And I think this has to be Saturn. Yeah, okay. Because I couldn't think of another way we could go if this wasn't.
Wait, what? Was I not lined up with the security panel perfectly? Okay, okay, we're good. Okay, so from the security room through sick bay is the Saturn door leading to reprocessing facility. What the hell are these? There's so many new enemies in here. Oh my god, oh, okay. We're out. Wow, they're fast. Okay, I think that dude just tripped. Okay, so what am I looking for? There's not even any items along the outskirts of the walls. What is the point of this room? Oh my god. Yeah. What am I missing? Um... Oh, I missed that. Jesus. Okay. I don't know how I missed that the other two laps, but woof. So I really am going to be rewriting these, huh? Okay, what are we getting? It's probably either Earth or Jupiter, or maybe Mars. It's Jupiter. Wait. Okay, my brain just lost the ability to parse letters for a second. Uh, yeah. Whoop, nope. We want to bring you all the way over. I just completely lost track of where the J was, and my brain kept reading it as an L, even though that's totally not right. I really hope that the Saturn door that we went through is the only one, but I could totally see this game forcing me to go back to the room with the enemies that dropped the skip to rewrite the keycard back to Saturn later, and then back to something else again. I could see it padding things out like that. But I'll be very happy if it doesn't. Okay, so then through here, and we're going to Jupiter, which was through the southern corridor in the room with the two plant monsters. Oh, I'm happy I wrote these down. <laughs> Have my little pen and pad next to me. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay, no, that's from the radiation. The radiation makes your AP tick up. Might have been damaged, too. I don't know if... Uh, if damage increases the bar at all. I know blocking hits with the shield increases it. I'm gonna get nailed by that projectile as soon as I come out of this menu. I could see it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, we still need to get Mars and Earth. I don't trust this room at all. This is so suspicious. This is such a suspiciously huge room with nothing else apparently in it. Imagine how you're supposed to make it through here if you've been reckless with your use of Delmators. Because if you don't have enough coming into here, you're just kind of screwed, aren't you? You will short out at some point, as far as I can tell, just because of the radiation alone. So, we need again. 
that voice. Spider. Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> Leo, go and teach him to fear little creatures. <gasps> That's Leo? Okay, I need health immediately. Uh, and we're going back to red. Is this just like how it was in the boss fight? Oh, that's still such a cool looking effect. Uh, this seems harmless. Oh, there's this little dude behind me, but... Okay. Okay. Was that the whole ambush? I figured something was going to happen in this room. But what was the point of that? To make sure I added some red left over? Is there anything else in here? Ah, uh, okay. Keycard rewriter. So this is a big keycard fetch quest. Where sometimes the only purpose of a room is to be a, an otherwise dead end with a, a keycard machine in it. Oh. Well, this one's a real head scratcher. It's Mazer, obviously. <laughs> okay, and that was in the east wing of the security room. There's some nice tense strings in the background that are either really subtle by intent or they're just being drowned out by the hiss of all of the refining machinery. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a little more prominent now. Oof. And then I still don't know what to do over on that west side. God damn it. That sucked. Rion's big fat ass clipped up against the side of the wall. There's so much tension entering every new room. Because this game will just flood you with bullshit sometimes. Uh, and I appreciate that in a horror game. <laughs> Keep that tension high. Enriched uranium. Oh my god, it's these guys again. Nope, nope. Mmm! Okay, now we're in a big open zone. We can maybe deal with this properly. You can't avoid fighting. Okay. Uh, but I can run around and see what's here before I take these three on. Uh, 
And what's here is another keycard rewriter. So which one is this gonna be now? I think we got them all. We have Mar- yeah, we just entered here through Mars. Venus? Yeah... Okay, yeah. No, 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 Earth. I forgot about Earth. Uh... Thought it was supposed to be Terra, but... Yeah, that looks right. Telus code is valid. Uh, and now... Uh, I would really like to kind of herd them, so I'm not getting pincered. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm about to short. This is good. I can take advantage of this. What perfect timing. I need to heal immediately. Holy hell. I am starting to run low on healing. And I don't know if there's going to be another wave of these like before. Uh, if there is, maybe they'll drop another skip? Is that... Is that maybe too optimistic? Doesn't look like we're getting another set of spawns. So let's, let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Hello, what was that? Oh, it's up here on the ledge? Oh, I can't get around through this little walkway. Okay, now, the question is... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I think I know where this door goes. Because this is the uranium storage room. Uh, so, I think... I think this door is going to lead back into, what was it, the sick bay? That one locked door? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. And then we have to go back to the south wing of the security hall uh, and into the room from the ash cutscene. For the earth door. Okay. We're putting this together. We're getting the layout of this place. It's not too bad. Oh, the camera is not being cooperative. And then it's on the right through here. And I have to bait out an attack from uh, the one plant dude. Because I do not want to get tail swiped. That works, that works. Yeah! Now, have enemies repopped? Okay, cool, they have not. And so far, I'm pretty grateful that we've only ever had to use each keycard uh, station once. One rewrite, one door. So far. <laughs> they haven't made, like for a, a series of what it what amounts to fetch quests, they haven't made it too obnoxious with backtracking yet. What am I doing here? I'm so paranoid about resources and when and where to use them. Dodging those pretty nicely. Okay. So where does this... This is going back upstairs. I don't know where this could lead, though. What? Wait, what? Oh! 
That was locked from the other side. Okay. That still leaves us with a problem. Because, other than being a shortcut, what is the point of this room? Because we got here through the earth door. Uh, I'm going to have to deal with the enemies just so I can take a, a closer look around without panicking about dodging stuff. Holy shit. I forgot their death rattles were like that. That kind of spooked me. Oh, I love how you can put them in the blender for extra damage while they're in the air. Get some of this uh, defelon refills out of my inventory. So what am I missing here? Um, I am okay. There's a key card right uh, rewriter in the corner. But for what door? What door did I miss? This one should be Venus based on the solar system map we got, but I don't remember ever seeing a Venus door. I need to check the map when I'm done with this. Okay, where are we looking here? Is there anything that I didn't check? I think I might see something here on the east side of system control that I'm gonna check out, I guess? That kinda looks like it might be a door. Uh, that was the room with the two plants in it, I think. The wide open one. Yeah, I did go through there kind of quick, so I might have just missed it. By the way, it's really hard to do research on the development and background of this game because it is old and it is is obscure. However, I did come across something kind of tangentially related that I was not expecting to read. Uh, if you look on the author N.K. Jemison's website, she has this post from 2009 talking about video games that inspired her. And you go down the list and it's like, oh hey, Shadow of the Colossus, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, she has great taste in games. Oh wow, Dragon Guard's on there. You don't expect to see that. But then, Galerians and Galerians Ash. <laughs> she compared Galerians Ash to scanners with emo teenagers. It's the best. So I already had the 100,000 kingdoms in the city we became on my reading list, and now I'm even more excited to get around to them. Knowing that Galerian's Ash may have been an inspiration. <laughs> oh, that's so unexpected. That looks important. Storage area elevator. Is this going to spike my radiation up? Is this, like, toxic mist? No, it's just some steam. Okay, where do we control the elevator from? Is it this? Oh, it's one of these. These are cool.
one of these swift moving platforms. <laughs> Oh, no, it's you. That's a lot of HP. It's really slow, though. That range looks kind of scary, but... I think we're okay? Oh, that level 2 Nalkin is messing him up. Ooh, is that an extra skip? Hell yeah. Uh, what are we putting this one in? It's either Felon or Bustinor. Let's go with this. This feels like a little boss fountain room, especially with the save in here. Let's refill everything before we save. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Can't believe this is the first time I'm refilling defelling. Okay, we're all topped up. Mostly. Health is a little bit below the threshold, but eh. I don't want to waste a healing item over healing. I guess I need to get decontaminated before I enter the uranium zone. Oh, I was really expecting to walk into a boss cutscene. Like, look at this big-ass boss room. It's gonna happen when I go into the middle of the room. Maybe not. Okay, gives me time to talk about how much I like the aesthetics of this room. The black, white, and red, the honeycomb design. It's kind of neat. It's also just a cavern. Am I supposed to be doing something with these? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Energy control terminal. Uh, I guess I have to turn the others on. There was one that I passed by, which I'll just loop back to. And then I'm assuming things will pop off but I have been known to be wrong, occasionally. <laughs> Especially about this game. Can't help but notice how much they're stocking me up. And how high the radiation has gotten. Pleasant surprise. Ash. <laughs> Look at all of this waste uranium. It could end the world. 
If all of these containers were opened, mankind would be eliminated in seconds. Rion, don't you think that humans have a suicide wish? They try to live longer, only to meet a more terrible death. <laughs> They're such sickening hypocrites. <laughs> but, as for me, I simply can't live without this.